my, you run a diet? You can tell already? <laughs> Actually, you can gave it away. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Have some, darling, it's delicious. Mmm, -mm. what's in this? You just add powder and some non-fat milk and ice cream. <laughs> Ice cubes, ma. The ice cream gives you a little body. No, it doesn't. <laughs> ma, I need some advice. Mr. Sheffield is going through a midlife crisis, and I don't know how to pull him out of it. Marry him. Ma, how's that going to help him? Who cares? Better we should be happy. <laughs> Just be grateful that he's not going through what your father went through in the 70s. Do you remember this? <laughs> oh, that's Daddy's old mod squad toupee. I can't believe you held on to it. It's non-abrasive on Teflon. Oh. <laughs> Why is he going through a midlife crisis anyway? I mean, just because he's over 40 and his plays are flop and I beat him at tennis. What? Have I taught you nothing? <laughs> you never beat a man at anything until after you're married. Is that how Daddy won that pie-eating contest on your first date? It wasn't easy. It was chocolate cream. <laughs> oh. Ma, what you did for love. Miss <laughs> Foy! Oh, Mr. Sheffield? Oh, my God. Ma, look at what he did. He bought himself a Porsche. Now, what does he think that's gonna get him? Mrs. Feldman's daughter, Mrs. Lieberman's daughter, <laughs> Mrs. Weintraub's daughter. Hey, hey, hey! Ma, lower the fire escape. I'm going in! <laughs> Dottie. You new here in the building? Oh, uh, well, actually, <laughs> I'm just... I'm talking here, Vito! <laughs> My fiancé. If you like me, I'll dump him. Are, are you stalled? Do you need a jump? Hey, hey, hey! If anybody's gonna jump him, it's gonna be me. But keep moving! Come on, you gold diggers, Dottie. You're engaged. Haven't you ever seen a single gorgeous millionaire before? <laughs> oh! How the friends they didn't hear you in Jersey! <laughs> Mr. Sheffield, what are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything, Miss Fine. I'm just trying to enjoy the rest of my life. So I'm not successful. So what? Everyone has a flop every now and again. Even Andrew Lloyd Webber had. Well, let's just get the car. Oh, what are you talking about? You're the most successful person I know. It was fine. You don't understand. I had a privileged upbringing. I should have achieved much more than I did. I wasn't brought up like you just to find a husband and get married. No, well, finding a husband isn't all I want. Oh! <laughs> oh, come on. Can we just move? Because she's got a frozen lasagna up there that could wipe us both out. But all I'm saying is that you didn't have the same advantages that I had. I, I was sent to the best schools money could buy. Yeah, well, meanwhile, your parents sent you away when you were six years old. I mean, where were they when you lost your first tooth? Hey, how you doing? On safari in South Africa. But they sent me a Kruger rant to my headmaster to put under my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> you know... How many times did you get to run into your mother and father's bedroom when it was thunder and lightning out? Well, I tried once, but by the time I got there, the storm had passed. <laughs> Very big house. Sounds like I was the one with the privileged upbringing. I mean, I come from a very close and loving family. Am I bleeding? <laughs> I think it's just raspberry filling. <laughs> mm. 